Welcome to Earthy's channel. Today we are going to read a special and horrifying book called Skippy John Jones in Mummy Trouble by Judy Shackner. Skippy John Jones did his very best thinking outside the box. And this twisted his mama's whiskers tighter than a Texas tornado. Hey you, Mr. McPoo said Mama Junebug Jones. That's... See? Make who? A poo is a cartoon character, said Mama Junebug Jones. Just what do you think you're doing? Make poo didn't say boo. He was too busy reading. And can you see what he's reading? National Leo Graphic Cat Mummies. Hey, little digger, I'm talking to you. Sam Allen just scooping up her boy. A pyramid outside a litter box will never ever do. Then she saw his medicine. National Leo Graphic, used Mama. And the curse of the cat, Mummy. Why, this will give you nightmares, boy. We've been upset, Tommy, too. Plus a puppy tail on the grandest scale. This story is taboo. But Skippy John Jones was in no mood to listen to his mama, so he skedaddled to his room. For a really good bounce on his big boy bed, he bounced once, he bounced twice, and the third time he bounced, he said, Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones, and I do love my mummy, but if I don't bounce, I get knocked in my tummy. The kitty boy flipped over to the mirror for a look -see. Holy smokito, exclaimed Skippy John Jones. I know you! He said to the doggy in the mirror, Your ears are too big for your head. Your head is too big for your body. You are not a Siamese cat. Then using his very best Spanish accent, he added, You are still the big chihuahua, dude, the whole enchilada. And they just might like enchiladas in Egypt, thought Skippy. Remember, I told you not to watch it because the ghost of Molly McGee. Why, this will give you nightmares, boy, with an upset tummy, too. Plus a puppy tail on the grandest stale. This show is taboo. And they just might like enchiladas in Egypt, thought Skippy. So the kitty boy donned his mask and cape and began to sing in a muy muy soft voice. My name is Skippito Pesquito, and I'm off to see old Egyptito. My chicos insist, and I dare not resist the chance to go meet him, Amito. In the meantime, his little sisters, Chisabel, Jellyboo, and Jujubee, rolled into his room with a plan of their own. You are something more spooktacular. Before Mama Junebug Jones storms inside. But the kitty boy was already deep inside his closet on his way to ancient Egypt. Hey. Skippy, what is happening? It's leaving. But the kitty boy was already deep inside his closet on his way to ancient Egypt. And paddling down the river Nile, who should sail right past the cookie crocodile, hunkered down on his lumpy, bumpy back were all his old amigos, the chimichangos pet. A don de vas, called out Skibito. We are going to the other mundo, answered the chihuahuas. Not to the underwear, exclaimed Skibito. No, 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 said the potatoes. You silly little beast. Trying to watch Starbeam Halloween Healer to the underworld, where Mamitos rest in peace. Peace, exclaimed Skibito. Who wants to sleep in peace? We do said the doggies. We here there to die for. You mean they 
you're better than the three holies. A skippy dog. Hmm. Show dogs, no storyline, super songs, nope. Aha! That's it! Si, sí, mucho mejor, senor, said Poquito Tito. Vamonos! said Skippito. What are we waiting for? But then John Diego, the biggest of the small ones, spoke up. Hold your ponies, Pepito. To get to the Undermondo, we first have to answer the riddle of the Finks. But I'm not good at riddles, said Skippito. No problema. No problema, said Quigotito. Said Poquito Tito. Big brain. Then they set forth through the, from the real Nile to find the things. The muchachos began to sing. Skippy, skippoo, skippito. We only have one chance, a rito, to pass by the things, so don't be a jinx. Just enter the riddle, dum dito. The muchachos arrived at four o'clock sharp. But the things had been waiting forever. Don't let the gato get your tongue, dude said Don Diego. What cat? Where? asked Skippito. That cat where? A cat there, said the Peritos, pointing to the Finks. But before he could say anything, the great Fink smoked. Whose ears are too big for his head? And who loves to go bounce on this bed? Who creeps on all fours through, through his own closet door straight into the land of the dead skippy don't knew the answer to this riddle but he was so nervous he coughed up a little bird ball <coughs> you called it an answer dude said don diego the answer below the banks so with his permission, the Peritos were free to pass on to the tomb of King Rootin' Tootin' Kitten Kabootin'. When they finally reached the pyramid, the doggies burst into song and dance. Oh, see, si, you say, Osiris, a boy that had a touch of the virus, he caught up a ball, so the Binks made a call. And now it's inscribed in the papyrus. But when Skippy-Do, how? saw how it dark it looked in the pyramid, he began to feel queasy. Queasy means you have to throw up. Hey, Skippito, you have to throw up in the toilet. <sighs> My tummy hurts. I gotta go to the potty, he groaned. And my tail is getting puffy, too. But his chicos would not comfort him. They just wanted their peace, poor favor. But are you not El Skippito for Skippito, the great survivor? Asked Poquito Tito. See, si, declared Skippito, that is me. Then do your duty, dog, commanded Don Diego. He meant duty. <laughs> Must go to the toilet. So Skippy Doe drew in a deep breath and dove into the darkness of the musty old tomb, chanting, Peas, poor for four, peas, poor for four, peas, poor for four. <laughs> I must go to the bathroom. He rocketed through the vault like a fur covered comet. Until suddenly, smackito! Skippito hit a wall and knocked himself out cold. Soon after, three goddesses emerged from the shadows to prepare the kitty for his journey to the Undermundo. First we, first we salt and pepper him, said Ba, the first goddess. And sprinkle him with lucky charms, said Da, the second one. Then wrap then we wrap him and roll him and bundle him tight, said Bing. The third goddess, that bird is very smart. And blow him a kiss and say nighty night. Then the trio rolled the rap cat in down the rap 
Into the king's burial chamber, across the room stood the four thousand year old sarcophagus of King Root and Tutan King and Kabutin. And just as they were about to deliver El Skibito Mamito, he rolled right into the feet of the oldie moldy mummy. Bada bing moaned the bada bing moaned the king. As he stretched out his paws, I need to rest in peace. Peace screamed El Skipito Mamito, waking up in the flash. And quicker than you can see mummies, mumps, and measles, he grabbed two paws full of peas and hightailed it home. When Los Chimichangos saw El Skipito Mamito come rolling out of the pyramid, they went into a real tailspin. Then the doggies began to chant, Green Chicharos hot, green Chicharos hot. Cold, the best chicharos in the world are those that Skippy-Do holds. But El Skippy-Do Mamito was too scared to slow down, so he chucked the peas at his chicos and kept on running straight into the arms of his mummy. What's the matter, fuzzy bug? A fuzzy bug is a bug made out of fur, asked Mama Junebug Jones. Skippy John Jones looked back over his shoulder to see if the free spirits were still chasing him. Bada bing! He will, dropping the peas. The three giggling goddesses raced into the room after Skippy Doe with their puppets and a roll of toilet paper. We're going to wrap you and roll you and bundle you tight, they sang. And check you for kitties, then kiss you good night. That night, Skippy John Jones was bouncing on his big boy bed. No mummies in my closet, no mummies in my head, no mummies in my quick case, no mummies in my head. Jeff Borey closed his eyes. The kitty boy checked his room. One more time for mummies. The only one he saw was his. I love you, Mummy, said Skippy John Jones. I love you too, Bunny Boots. Bunny Boots are boot bunnies, said Mama Junebug. Now go to sleep, poor Bavor. The end. Bye. Buenas noches, mis amigos, and have a happy Halloween. Bye.